So it's the Drug Supply Chain Security Act of 2013. We've been at this now for nine, nine and a half years. And there's a lot of attention and energy going into the November 27, 2023 deadlines. Uh, we've been at this for so long. Why is 2023 such a big deal and such a big milestone for, for industry and regulators? So we have implemented many uh, provisions of the law. As you said, we are in the last year of the 10-year uh, implementation. And uh, what what members of the supply chain and other stakeholders have to realize is there are requirements that went into effect as early as 2014, 2015. We had reporting requirements. We had product tracing requirements and even uh, and verification requirements and um, authorized trading partner. Uh, these requirements remain in effect. They they and will continue even beyond November 2023. Um, but what changes in November 2023 is that the requirement to maintain and provide information moves to a fully electronic state. So right now we've been able to implement lot level traceability. In November 2023, it becomes uh, package level or unit level traceability and. Um, when we um, think about the product identifier, which now has ser unique serial numbers within that uh, as the date as part of the data set of that transaction um, information and also on product, this now becomes part of that documentation uh, for product tracing in 2023. Um, in addition, steps for verification change a little bit too, because now the expectation is that you'll be verifying down to the unit or package level as well because of that product identifier. At a practical level in terms of what that means for, for industry and for implementation, I was thinking about two really big shifts that that drives. One is just the volume and granularity of data. Uh, so as you mentioned, right, we, we're doing lot level today. We don't have perfect data, but somewhere in the ballpark of, you know, several hundred thousand lots or batches of product that we're tracing through the supply chain today. As we move towards unit level traceability in 2023, it's somewhere closer to four and a half billion individual units that we're going to be tracing. And so that level of uh, granularity and detail and just sheer volume of data, I think, is is fairly unprecedented for the supply chain. The other is this shift away from uh, sole focus on existing commercial partners to a broader supply chain interoperability perspective. Most of what's been done to date has been in that context of direct commercial relationship between two direct trading partners. And I think 2023 really drives us to a place where we need to have that interoperability among the supply chain. And what does that look like when you have uh, a small mom and pop pharmacy that now has to be able to in some way interoperably interact with a large multinational manufacturer and just the complexity of uh, arranging that and, and providing that capacity and capability throughout the supply chain. Right. We recognize that interoperability is a very uh, complex concept and hopefully um, we've been able to uh, put out guidances and information and recommendations that provide flexibility because of the diverse supply chain and the, the diverse capabilities within the supply chain. 